This is Thomas with Access Analog. All right, today we are going to start with just a little loop that I am planning on selling. Sort of a cinematic hybrid loop, and we're just going to brush it up and get it ready for sale. All right, I've got everything sounding kind of the way I want it. I've got some headroom on there. I'm going to open up the Access Analog Analog Matrix plugin. The first thing I'm going to do is is connect and then i am searching for an eq for something like this i really like uh, a pull tech or a neve um, i'm trying to get a little texture in here you can hear the the beats already textural and i want to bring that out a little bit so we got our neve inserted and the next thing i'm going to do is select a compressor i love the manly variable mu it's just super bulletproof. You can hit it hard and it always just sounds amazing. It's very forgiving for uh, a newbie as well. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do with this EQ is I wanna, I'm gonna bring up and also tighten the low end. And I am hitting that 60 hertz. For me, 60 hertz uh, tends to still read on a really nice set of headphones, most speakers, things like that. And then I am gonna just decorate the top end with everything, you know, 7,500 and above. This gets out of that brassy range of the four, the 5K, and just gives me a little lift on top. What I'm looking for here is the character of the amplifiers within the unit. So instead of cutting the middle, I really wanna add some sparkle to that low end and some sparkle to that high end, effectively scooping out the middle. Um, but I really want the character of those amplifiers. All right, that's starting to sound good. I'm gonna switch over to the Manly here. Um, what I'm really being careful about here is kind of gain staging. So when you've got two units like this, you've got some amplifiers that are competing and what you don't want to do is pick up any artifacts from that. The first time I tried this particular arrangement of hardware, I was getting a little flappiness in the in the kick drum, um, where one was one unit was picking the next, and that compressor just couldn't hold on to it. So my transients were kind of blowing over. So here I'm kind of dialing up the input so I can saturate things. So I can understand what the character of this compressor is going to do. I'm watching my gain, keep resetting my overloads. And then what I really want to do is I want to dial this in so that maybe three or five decibels is coming off the top. Um, it's probably going to live around four and, and hit six. Uh, but I really just want to touch that six. So I've quickened the release time. I've opened up the attack because I do want those transients to push through and I want to bring up the sort of the beefiness of the sound that's in the middle. That's starting to sound nice. My goal here is to make it sound musical, right? So that bass drum, I really want it to hit. I really want it to sort of punch you in the chest. Everything that's in the middle, I just don't want to lose, right? So that, that snare, I still want to make um, really clear when it's hitting on the two and four. Um, I do want to pull some of the rest of that kind of boxy mid energy out, but I want to keep and preserve those highs. All right, now it's time to bounce. So I'm switching between hearing the DAW um, and 
I've uploaded the file um, that's going to be pushed through the hardware, which is exactly the same uh, mix that you've been hearing. As you can see, I'm offline here. I'm going to hit bounce, and it's chewing on that. All right, now it's complete. I'm gonna disconnect. I'm gonna turn off the plugin. That way any delay or artifacts or buffering that comes along with the Access Analog plugin, we're not gonna be affected by that anymore. And Access Analog dropped my file exactly where I want it to. So I'm gonna search for it here. I'm gonna drag it in to my session. And we're just going to listen to the original file. And you can see it's it's not bad. It is a little boxy, um, but all the material is there. Plenty of trans transient information. And then, there's, as you can see, when you look at these two files back to back, um, that new file has has definitely gotten bigger. There's a lot more power behind those transients, but there's still plenty of transient material. Because I'm selling this as a loop, I want to create a file that a producer can download and it still has some headroom left, but when they are searching for loops, it still hits hard, it still feels musical, and it still has that power. All right, that's sounding great. Again, here's a reminder of where we started. And we're gonna solo the Access Analog version. All right, thank you very much.